Can we not go in the background? Only, only like uh, when I put the light on for applause, then you can applaud. <laughs> 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 What's going on guys? I just want to bring you this quick video on my sled vlog kind of setup here. Since I got a new helmet, I'm going to have to set this helmet up. I'll kind of go through, I'll go through how I set this up and then I'll also show you how I have my existing helmet set up, my CKX Titan here. I've been running this setup for two years now. It's the GoPro Hero 9 with the media mod and I have this mic running inside my helmet. It runs through here down into, into there and it's just really held there with Gorilla Tape. I'll have the links for all these items in the description of this video. I choose to run the GoPro under the visor here because I think it's the best perspective. And then also you can see the screen, so you can see your battery, see if it's recording, you can see if the mic's recording because you can see your audio levels when you have the media mod on here. And it's easy to take on and off because you can see exactly what you're doing. And then the GoPro is held in there just with a sticky mount and I put some extra shoe goo around it just to make sure it's secure. That works well on this helmet because the, the peak is kind of flat, but that's maybe not going to work so well on the new helmet here. So we'll try it and see what happens. The settings I run the GoPro on is 4K, 30 frames per second, super view. Now, if you want some slow-mo footage, you could put it up to 60 frames a second or even higher, but I don't really find myself needing slow-mo, you know, maybe one funny clip here and there. I like to slow down just to see someone wipe out. Other than that, I don't really use it, so I just leave it at 30 frames a second. And then all the other settings in the GoPro, I just leave on auto. Another question I get a lot is, how do I keep my GoPro from dying in the cold? Let's be honest, the GoPro batteries absolutely suck. But they did just come out with this new GoPro cold, cold weather enduro battery, which I've had really good luck with so far, getting it about twice the life of the old batteries maybe about an hour worth of footage on one of these out in the mountain. I've also heard of guys running a portable power bank from the GoPro to like the back of the helmet or in their jacket, but that's kind of a cumbersome setup for me, so I just swap out the batteries as need be. So I'm gonna set this helmet up now and I'll kind of show you how that works. As you see, we just slapped a flat sticky mount under the visor there, which doesn't seem like it would work whatsoever because there's like a half inch gap between the flat mount and the in the peak there but just slap some more shugu in there and honestly it holds extremely well you're never going to rip this mount off with that shugu on there and maybe it's not the most professional way to do it but for me it's functional and i don't ever have to worry about losing my gopro I, my visor will break off before i break that gopro off of there and then the mic is ran up under the peak there and all the extra wire is taped up there. Again, tape probably isn't the most professional way to do it, but it works well. Then the wire for the mic just runs into the helmet from there and underneath the foam. And then it's just under the two buttons that hold the foam in there and it stays in place perfectly. We also have the GoPro mount on top of the helmet, which I don't use for the GoPro, but if we had to, we could. It's actually there for my headlamp for when we're night riding. But that's all I got for you today. I just wanted to bring you this video quick since I get these questions all the time and I was setting up the new helmet. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.